the due process of the uh, licensee is as critical as making sure that you protect the public's interest. The board's here to protect the public. And sometimes, as even in the history of my representation of the board, I've on more than one occasion uh, told the board that what they did not want to hear, it, which means that I felt that the public's interest, even though the board members may have had differing opinions on that, mm -hmm. was more important. Because I have always felt that my first duty, mm -hmm. right, is to the public, mm -hmm. then to the licensees to make sure their due process is protected. Mm -hmm. If they would like to proceed to a full board hearing, they have every right to do that. If they want to try to resolve it, because as you know, the Attorney General's office, there's a policy that you try to remediate cases. The board, and I've said this a thousand times, whether it's here, whether it's in the press, the board's here to be remedial. The board is not here to be punitive. Right? And therefore, what we're trying to do, at least from my perspective as being the prosecutor, is make sure that people, the amount of remediation is the least intrusive as possible. And that's been the policy. That's how the board, over time, created corrective actions instead of having discipline to give the licensees an opportunity. That was all developed over the course of 26 years. And I can tell you that that process has now been implement, uh, implemented and kind of copied by a number of states that have sought my counsel on how to be the least intrusive on a licensee, you know, and how the board's the obligation to protect the public but also due process and to take the appropriate least intrusive remedial measure possible when dealing with a licensee. Mm -hmm.